We're live at the Bristol Motor Speedway for the start of the Season 8 of the Reebok Cup Series. Casey Kane is on the pole today. He struggled in Season 7 and looks to change that today. He's got two of his teammates right behind him. The 48 of Jimmy Johnson and the 24 of Jeff Gordon. There's also two Stewart Haas cars right there. The 41 of Kurt Busch and the 14 of Tony Stewart. These six drivers will all look to have a hand in determining the winner of this race. Well, Dylan Hart Jr., he also struggled last season. He starts further to the back. He's going to have a lot of cars to pass up if he wants to have a decent shot at winning this race here at Bristol. Marcus Ambrose in the 9 will likely enter his final season in the Reebok Cup Series. He will be replaced by Sam Hornish Jr. starting next season. He's going to look to have a great run here at Bristol, which is one of the tracks that he's better at. He's going to have to pass a lot of cars in order to make that happen. We'll see who wins here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. On row 1, we have the 5 car of Casey Kane and the 18 car of Kyle Busch. Rolling off in row 2, we have the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson and the 41 car of Kurt Busch. Starting into the, today's race in row 3, we have the 24 car of Jeff Gordon and the 14 car of Tony Stewart. In row 4, we have the 17 car of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and the 4 car of Kevin Harvick. In row 5, we have the 1 car of Jamie McMurray and the 16 car of Greg Biffle. In row 6, we have the 11 car of Danny Hamlin and the 27 car of Paul Menard. In row 7, we have the 22 car of Joey Logano and the 10 car of Danica Patrick. In row 8, we have the 15 car of Clint Boyer and the 88 car of Dale Hart Jr. In row 9 for today's race, we have the 2 car of Brad Keselowski alongside the 99 car of Carl Edwards, moving to Gibbs after the season. In row 10, we have the 20 car of Matt Kenseth and the 42 car of Kyle Larson. In row 11, we have the 9 car of Marcus Ambrose and his teammate Eric Almarola and the 43. In row 12, we have the 55 car of Brian Vickers rounding out the field. The field's coming off at of turn 4. We're going green flag racing here in Season 8. Casey Kane leads him down into turns 1 and 2 with his two Hendrick teammates behind him. The Bush brothers working on the outside. It's Jimmy Johnson going to take the lead, pushed by Jeff Gordon on the lap 2. Gordon is right behind him. He looks to the outside. He takes the lead away from Jimmy Johnson here on the lap 3. Johnson turns on the wall. We've got a crash off of turn 4. Huge crash involving multiple Stewart Haas cars. The defending champion, Denny Hamlin, Great Biffle, and Paul Menard are around alongside Joey Logano with nowhere to go. Looks like Menard will only be down pit road. He will return to this race. Looks like Harvick got into both cars and sent them all on the wall. A lot of guys know where to go. A lot of guys also head down pit road here. And we're going to get back on the way on lap four. Jimmy Johnson is the leader. He's got Kyle Busch right behind him. Bush makes the pass on the apron and takes the lead. We're going to go on board with him now on to lap five. Kyle Busch is the leader. But he's got the two 300 cars behind him. And around goes Brad Keselowski. And the caution is out for the second time today. It looks like he got turned by the 43 car, who might have also gotten turned by the 10 of Danica Patrick. Just sends Kislowski around on the wall. We're back on the way on lap 6. Kyle Busch is the leader. Once again, 300 cars behind him. Dale Earnhardt Jr. back towards the back of the field. Not a good day for him. Kyle Busch is the leader. Johnson is right there on lap 7. Johnson tries to get around, but Casey Kane's going to grab second place away. Busch opening up a decent lead. Here comes Johnson in a second. Now he's going to look to hunt down Kyle Busch for the lead. Can he get there? He's right to his bumper on lap 9. Can Kyle Kyle Busch, hang on. And he gets turned in the wall. Johnson takes lead. Kyle Busch is head down pit road. He will be out of this race. Three laps to go. Jimmy Johnson is the leader. He's got a decent lead over Stenhouse, who's actually closing the gap with two laps to go. Stenhouse is right there. Can he get to the back part of the 48? He is there. Now can he make a move? White flag in the air. Johnson pulls away. Stenhouse is closing the gap. He's right there. But Jimmy Johnson is going to win here at Bristol. A great day for Rick Hendrick Motorsports. Three Hendrick drivers finishing in the top four. Jimmy Johnson wins the opening race of Season 8 in a dramatic fashion, holding off for you, Stan Ross's Jr.'s last charge. Chase Kendrick gets his gets the win. Connor Breen comes home with second. Aaron Lukes is third. Reponder is fourth. And Ian Nascar, 48, rounds out the top five. Stephen Cooper comes home in seventh. David Carey in eighth. Now in the middle of the field, Ninth is Matt Damon. Rounding out the top ten is Stuart Gratton. Michael Foles coming home in twelfth. Philip Watson in thirteenth. Dale Sullivan in fourteenth. And Cody Hagen rounds out the top fifteen. Just feel like the extra XL finishes in sixteenth. 
Towards the back of the field, we have Colin Ward in the 18th, finishing in 17th. P.J. Williams finishing in 18th. Alan Kevin, the defending champion, comes home 19th after that incident with the two Stuart Haas cars, which finished 20th and 21st. Henry Kavanaugh comes home 22nd. And Chase Kendrick is the points leader by three points over Connor Breeden. Aaron Lukes is one point behind him in a great day for Kendrick Motorsports. Three drivers finishing in the top four. Jaunt with uh, Kendrick, Lukes, and Ponder all. And then Ian Nascar 48 with a surprise in fifth. Matt Damon is ninth. Stewart Grattan with 14 points in tenth. Then uh, Phil Boston is in 13th. Uh, uh, just for life XL, the last Hendrick driver comes home 16th. He's going to have a lot of ground to make up if he wants to contend for this championship. Two of the three Stuart Haas cars down here as well as two Gibbs cars, both Penske cars. Not a good day for any of those teams. They'll hope to rebound next week when we go to Campbellsville.